Hey, this is Luke with the Android Guys Review Podcast. I'm here with Scott. Hi, Luke. How are you? Good, man. How are you? I'm doing extravagant. Yes. Good word. <laughs> um, we are talking today about a game, and a game that you uh, are, are, are way into. I, yeah, I can't. I'm, I'm hooked. You're hooked. I'm all, right, all the so way in. Let's get right into it. What is it? Stranger Things Puzzle Tales. Ooh. It is a an officially licensed Stranger Things title. Uh-huh. It's from the Netflix show. Nice. And it is a at its heart a match 3 style game. Love it. I'm all in on games that I can pick up for 2 minutes or 10 or 60. Yeah. <laughs> I can play while I'm watching football and not uh-huh. have to worry too much about or if I'm just Bored, yes, you know. So it's it's a perfect game for that. Okay, but it is an IP title, so it has likenesses of characters from the show. Okay, and the and to not make this sound too convoluted for mm-hmm. people listening or who have not played this, um, it's kind of like a um, kind of like a Candy Crush where. You play one level, and then it gets increasingly harder sure. as you go. Yeah. So you will do these matching three or more to do that. And if you do four, it gets a little stronger, the reward or the, right. okay. you know. But as you go through the game, you are building up a roster of players from the Stranger Things okay. universe. And the bigger the character, the stronger they are, the better their abilities. Mm-hmm. And each of them is kind of assigned a color to the character. Oh, like a strength? Yeah. Okay. So Eleven. Uh, actually, I have two versions of her mm-hmm. uh, already from the game, and her cards are – characters are purple. Okay. So as you match more purple on the game, you build up a – kind of like a super move for her. I gotcha. And I imagine that, like, the enemies are weak against certain colors. Yes. Got it. So she's purple. She's going to be stronger against orange. Okay. And red is stronger against green. And it sounds kind of hard, but what's nice is in the top left of the corner, when you're playing the game, you have this little chart that shows uh, you, kind of like a rock, paper, scissors. Oh, nice. This okay. yeah. is stronger against this, but this might be weak. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so you will go through the game I unlock these characters, and then you will kind of want to power them up. There mm-hmm. are different incentives that you can kind of collect along the way to uh, level them up as you, you know, you might get 10 levels into the game, but you might only have your characters at a level five. Sure. Uh, you'll see kind of what you're up against when you go into it. You can play endlessly. Mm-hmm. Um, if you get beat, you can go right back in. Gotcha. It'll tell you to, you know, the hint might be power up your team. Is there any sort of like energy mechanic where you can only play a certain amount of time before you run out of energy? No. Ooh. Okay. Which is probably why I can't get enough of this right. stupid game. Yeah, there's no really no time limit. It doesn't force me to cool off. Yeah. Um good. The, yeah. Man. So, uh I've been playing the game for about 2 weeks or so and uh I've got my main 5 or 6 characters are all at level like 62 and above oh wow hopper is a 67 yeah um he's the strongest so far and uh each guy has his own benefits you know moves some might heal other players some might distract and then take like absorb energy if Uh people are being attacked so you'll learn you know kind of how to put together your team and how many people are on a team (laughs) uh five at, at any time and you can mix and match before every level. Gotcha. All of that sounds awesome yeah. and enjoyable and high replay value. Yeah. But there's so much more. Really? There are daily uh, achievements that you can do to unlock um, in-game kind of like content. Not content, but uh, rewards to kind of help build your team. Okay. There are weekly. There are general achievements. So like if you beat level, you know, four, level 20... Um, World 4, level 20, uh, you'll unlock stuff. You have options to call for new characters. You start to collect them. You can see how rare they are Mm -hmm. and kind of like promote them and fold them into each other and make one 
character stronger. Right. You can scrap them for pieces and parts and use those in the uh-huh. game store. Uh-huh. Um, there is every 24 hours there is a portal that opens up with its own kind of like play before it ends get as far as you can collect all the fun stuff Mm -hmm. and that's separate from the main story separate yep okay and then uh there's also a club you can join in the game which randomly puts you with up to like 20 other players on a team oh like real players yep oh and you can go in and battle a kind of basically a club boss Ah. And you can see uh, you get three attempts to take down as much energy from the boss as you can. Yeah. And you can see how well you did relative to the other players on the club. Nice. And if the whole team knocks the bad guy out, then you get a bunch of stuff. Ah, okay. Um, so you want to work together in that. Yeah, so you want to make sure. Between the group. Yep. Okay. So I can go in and do my three levels, and then I can check and see how the rest of the guys are. Is there like a... Uh, team chat or anything where you can do there like, is. hey guys attack or well you can do that um, it's, everybody plays individually yeah. within that time 24 hours right? but you can kind of go in there and chat and say hey we need one or two more people to right. complete this guy you know nice. we're close but uh, depending on how well you do relative to the other players you mm-hmm. may walk away with more rewards than them oh, Okay. Um, and then there's a whole other side of the game where you can do like these investigations which basically are these one or two hour things where you just kind of assign one of your roster Mm -hmm. to a side quest it might say you need two green characters to do this you don't see it happen you don't all you do is pick the two green Mm -hmm. and then within the hour it'll come back and say here you've uh here's your achievement and then so like why while they're on that investigation you can't use them in the game nope you can oh wow so sometimes you may run into like well i've only got you know 11 guys to start out sure and i don't have you know enough red guys to do these investigations at the same time okay but uh, two weeks in i haven't had to wait to come back yeah uh it's really easy to build your roster nice uh there's a lot of characters and i'm like oh my gosh that that's a person in here too that's really cool oh nice um so you know obviously the bigger the name in the show the stronger they are the cooler their special moves are and then not only do you promote them in terms of levels but then there's like these little power-ups that make their punches stronger or oh, okay. their ability to heal quicker. Like uh, like equipment add-ons or something? Yep. Okay. So it might be like 3D glasses or a beanie hat or a windbreaker <laughs> nice. yeah, or something cool. like that. But, um, yeah, man, it, it's it got me hooked. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck on this thing. Nice. That Not stuck awesome. stuck in the game. Yeah, no, like... I can't just, walk away from you it. Wanna, you want to play it. All right. Yeah. Uh, you want to throw out some scores? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So what do, what do you got for features? Features, I'm giving this a five. Whoa. It is a free game, and yeah. it is chock full of game. Wow. It is, I mean, you can play however you want mm-hmm. in this. If you want to do the side stuff, you can. Mm-hmm. It encourages you to do so. I mean, you're rewarded, but yeah. if you just want to go through and see how far you can get, you can do that too. Wow. Okay. So graphics then. I'm gonna give it a five as well. Okay. It is uh, an interesting balance of uh, cartoony and uh, simple graphics, mm-hmm. kind of like you know, um, kind of like what you would see with a Candy Crush or Bejeweled when it comes to that part of the game. Mm-hmm. But the bad guys that are on the level that you see uh, in your characters when you execute your moves. They're, they look like cartoon versions of characters from Stranger Things. It's, nice. it's very cool. Okay. Audio. Four. Okay. Not quite perfect. Uh, it does have the synth wave kind of soundtrack to it. Yeah. Which is cool. I'm yeah. all for that. But it's really only like two tracks. Uh, okay. So it's repetitive. Gives you the same thing back and forth. Do you have the option to turn that off if you want? You do. Okay. You do. Yep. Uh, replay value. Five. Wow. I... It's been a very long time since I've had a game that I will reach for my phone to open to just, just to collect. To play the game. Yep, just to collect my stuff and wow. try a level or two. Okay, and then uh, last but not least, adds and notifications. Uh, not quite perfect. Okay. Uh, for a free game, I have seen zero ads. Okay, well, that sounds great. So almost perfect there. Yeah. Uh, I do take it down just a little bit because it does tend to remind you. 
And it might just be me because I play it so much, uh-huh. you know, constantly doing these investigations. Right. But I'm getting notifications of your investigations are complete. Uh, Come back to collect. Okay. Uh, you're in, you've collected all of these, you know, so those, those little of, nudges of like, hey, come back to the free game. Yeah. And okay. I'm okay with that. So I'm still going to give it a four and a half. Wow. It's, it's above average. So all above. Uh, for for you of keeping score at home, that's that's three five so far in this app review. Yeah. That uh, if my math is correct, I think that gives us a total of a 4.7. Yep. That's a, that's a strong game. This is one that I'm not going to delete anytime soon. All right. It's a it's so, a quality game. Yeah. It's a Stranger Things Puzzle Tales. Puzzle Tales. Uh, sounds like that's a go download. Yeah. Right now. Awesome. Well, thanks, Scott. Thank you. 